Let's do one more like fast, see if we can get up to 15 or 20K. Really, really fast so people find us, see if we can get on that For You page before we start. State your intentions for today's Reiki session. This is body lights therapy, healing, spiritual healing, and soul work, Sozo. And um, hello, Fit Coach Kareen, welcome. Stating your intention is going to help leap into that. And I'm so impressed with you going to school, Cynthia. So impressed with you finishing that. Absolutely love, 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 love how far you've come this year. And I see you. Um, so feeling your breath, feeling your guts, feeling your shoulders. So your soul right your soul is yours and your soul nicole nepal welcome your soul is yours and your soul is in your body has a body and it is your body so go ahead and reach out and just pull oh any energy up oh, excuse me Whew. pull energy up and then ask God's source to just open up that channel of love through your soul chakra all the way down through your head. Just imagine like a golden beam going through your head, through your pineal gland, through your pituitary, down through your limbic skull, limbic brain, down, down, down through your spinal column down your spinal column, into your perineum, down your perineum, all the way down, and then anchor into Mama Earth, creating your space on the Mama Earth. Claim your space. Claiming your space. Feel that light coming down through and to you. Breathe into your belly. Feel your body. Now at the base of your tailbone, there's a literal and figurative drain. Go ahead and pull that drain, even if you don't have a tailbone. Pull that drain and release. Release any energy that no longer serves you down your spine. Asking God, Lord, Source, to just bless you for the highest good, for your highest good and the highest good of all, to release all of that energy where you have to be the healer, the teacher, the rescuer, even before you rescue yourself. Any of that tension where you don't get enough, people aren't there to help you, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Or if they are there to help you, you don't even know how to receive their gifts, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. And we have that owing energy, like we owe somebody something. So if you've ever been subject to owe people something, if they like bought you dinner, then you had to give them sexual favors or um, what are some normal ones? Maybe you, like many of my clients, had to give sexual favors for you know, somebody smiling at you nicely or not beating you that day, <laughs> right? Good morning, Chad. So go ahead and just feel that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Release that energy down. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend all that that is. Anytime where you had to pay back kindness with anything other than what you wanted. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Anytime that healing came with strings attached, you know, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Feel that in your body. Release that from your tailbone. Release this energy. And just begin noticing where you're holding this tension in your body, right? For many of us, right? For many men, this tension is like if a woman's nice to you or they, they do something for you or they, you know, you like you trade financial security for love, right? Like all these things, you don't need to do that. So what if we just gave freely? We gave because we loved 
and we didn't have to give sexual favors or financial favors. And we paid for what we wanted, right? With gratitude so we can get what we want. So, um, you know, for oftentimes I'm like, oh, well, I have to give because somebody's paying me. Yeah, that's the contract, right? That's the contract. But it's like going and getting your meal. You're not going to expect more from them than what you ordered, right? If you ordered a steak, you're you're not they're not going to you're not going to be upset if they bring you a steak. You might be confused if they bring you something different. You want to get what you ordered. Okay, so feel what you've given your body. Check in with your body, maybe touch your face, relax your jaw, roll your shoulders back, relax your shoulders, right? What are you giving your body? Are you rescuing your body? Are you punishing your body? Are you expecting more from your body than you give your body? This morning I was laying in bed and I was like, who do I want to be, right? I'm an athlete. I've always been an athlete. I like being an athlete. When an athlete gets up and does their sun salutations, <laughs> right? An athlete gets up and does their sun salutations. So if you're not being the person that you require to be to have the physical health that you require, right? You're not putting that in there, then it is probably not going to happen. So how can you be more loving to your body today? Invite love into your body. No strings attached, just love. Movement, healthy food, water. <sighs> I'm just gonna pull some of those things out that you can't digest or are undigestible. To release them, just say yes. I'm already feeling like I gotta go to the bathroom. I love it. So emotionally things you can't digest, physical things that you can't digest, emotional, mental, any place where you feel like you owe somebody but you don't have it to give or you owe somebody because you were trained that you owed somebody. Right? I brought you into this world so I'll bring you out of this world unless you X, Y, and Z, whatever that is. Let's untie that, untie that, untie that. No longer living that way in our body. No longer owing somebody physical favors, sexual favors, or hard work. Well, we will be here when you get back and congratulations on your new position, I choose to be. Pop in as you can and just pop in and join the energy and then pop back out and you can still be in the energy. You can still receive. Just say yes at 9 a.m. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend any place where you feel like you owe somebody, a teacher, a rescuer, a good Samaritan, a hero or a heroine, right? Even if they don't feel like you, like, even if you don't feel like they're really giving you anything. Maybe you feel like you're giving to them, but they're like, nope, I'm, I'm doing this for you, right? Release that from your heart. And dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend all that no longer serves you. And call in that Samaritan. Call in enough for your body to give enough boundaries for you to have, but also enough for your body to give enough energy, a high metabolism, health and vitality, enough physical things. So enough money or resources to buy what you want, right? And buy what you need. Just 
check in with your body. Digest, anchor. Good. So for many of us, we've been abused. We've had narcissistic abuse. We've had physical abuse. We've had sexual abuse. And what, what that does to us is like these people that are abusing us say that we owe them or they wouldn't hurt us if, or we assume they wouldn't hurt us if, right? And they take, 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 take. And that becomes kind of the norm of people in our lives for a time being. And then we might overgive, you know? You are my client. You know that that is an issue sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'm overgiving, overgiving. Something I've been gr growing out of this year in a big way. Right, claim your worth. Claim who you are. Stand up and say yes. I want this. Right, gladly and joyously figure out ways to pay for things. I don't know about you, but when I went to school, I went into debt. I don't know about you, but when I bought my house, I went into debt. I don't know about you, but when I bought my car, I went into debt. Um, so it's like, what are you going into debt for, right? Are you going into debt for a vacation that lasts 5.2 seconds, right? And didn't bring you anything back? Are you going into debt because you're going on an experience that's gonna transform and change your life, right? So what are you choosing to invest your time in? What are you choosing to invest in your life what is it going to give you what is it going to teach you how is it going to how are you rescuing yourself um how you know how are you being good to yourself or are you making yourself pay right do you have to do something you hate before you can do something you love do you have to suffer before you can do something you love if so dissolve resolve transform transmute and transcend that Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Letting that go. <sighs> Beautiful. Now, we hold a lot of tension in our knees and our ankles and our feet. This is stabilization. Right? What if you loved yourself as much as that dog? What if you were as worthy as the dog? <sighs> Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend all that that is. Claim your worth. Claim the worth for your body. How do you want to take care of your body? How do you want your body to look and feel? Releasing any tension and moving forward that you might be holding in your knees, in your feet. What is blocking you from being your own best teacher, from investing in yourself? It can be expensive. But it also can be preventative and extremely less expensive than other treatments, than years in the hospital when you're older. Thank you, Chad. All right, let's take a nice deep breath. Oh, stretch out. Mm, open your heart. And just write down, take a moment, and just visualize how you want your body to look. Who would you be, who would you need to be, if anything different, to claim your temple to look and be the way that you want it to be? How can you accept your temple?
Hmm, beautiful. All right, let's move on to our minds. So what are you thinking today? Take this moment and just feel how you're thinking. Feel that light of stream of energy from God coming down upon you. Opening up your mind to new thoughts. Notice how your brain is thinking. You can hold right here, you guys, and just feel that kind of pull your brain stem apart, pull your sutures apart, massage your head. Pull all this apart. What would it take to believe that you are enough? You didn't owe anybody anything for helping you, right? Now, if there's a contract and of course you're hiring somebody, then yes. But those people that choose to help you just out of the goodness of their heart, they're that. Can we show appreciation through resources, finances? sharing a page, sharing things, right? Can we help people? Yeah, help people back out, right? Pay it forward. For many of us, we don't want to be helped because we're scared of owing somebody something and not being able to pay them. So we don't receive help from the universe. We don't receive help. We might be praying for help and guidance, yet we won't receive it because of that thought pattern, that negative belief. Right? So dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, transcend that. Visualize the thoughts that you're having. See them, sense them. We visualize in words. We visualize in hearing audibly. And we think in pictures. Primarily pictures of the past. So clear that. Let those pictures go down the stream. Maybe it's, I'm not good enough. Nobody loves me. People help me and then they want to just take from me. They want things from me that I didn't agree to, right? There wasn't a preconceived grieving. Right? If you've ever had to, you know, like maybe you went out to dinner with somebody. Let's just say you're dating. You went out to dinner with somebody or you took dinner with somebody and you assume, say that you're a dude and you assumed that because you took them to dinner and it was a nice dinner that she owed you something sexually, right? This is a common misperception in the world, but no, she didn't because there was no preconceived agreement. Now, if you hired a hooker, and there was an agreement, I'm going to take you to dinner and then we're going to fuck, then that's fine. Does that make sense? It's not preconceived. Say that you hire somebody to do a job for you, it's preconceived. But if you go and help somebody assuming that they owe you something and it wasn't preconceived, it's not, it's not in the books. Okay? So any place that you've had preconceived I owe you stuff, Okay, remember today we're healing the teacher energy, the rescuer energy, the Samaritan energy, and the hero energy. This is any place where you've thought that somebody owes you something because you did something for them, tit for tat, or you've been trained that somebody owes you something, or you owe somebody something because you received, so you refuse to ask for help. Because you're scared that somebody's going to want to make you pay okay and for many survivors of abuse in my community you know we were trained to pay sexually and i don't know about you but i have never had a period of my life where i didn't want to fuck and i don't want to fuck right now not even on the table okay so i'm like well what do i what do i have to offer <laughs> 
besides my time. So if I believe that everybody needed that, then it would be an issue, right? There's always a contract, either a contract of payment or, or payment. Other than that, it's a gift. So if you're expecting people to pay or something to come back to you when you give a gift of your time, of your experience, of your wisdom, right? Like this, if I expected you all to pay me, right? It wouldn't be a gift. So any of that energy or any of that energy where you won't ask because you're expecting people to pay or pe you think people are gonna make you owe that, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend those thoughts, those beliefs, any place where you were trained to believe that if somebody did something nice for you, you had to do something back. And any place where you didn't know the difference between, you know, just receiving your worth. You have any guilt around charging what you're worth, charging for your time, getting a job that pays you really, really great, creating a job that pays you really, really great, seeing the value in the services that you give and asking for that upfront contract to dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. All that that is, everything in the way of that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. All those thoughts, those memories, I'm just gonna kind of pull out those memories a little bit so you can get a bird's eye view of them. And that trauma response. I choose B, right? <laughs> Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Okay, what thoughts do you want instead? One, I am valuable. I am valuable. It is an honor to hang out with me. I'm also giving a gift by just chilling and being around me. I know that because so many people are like, oh, I just get around your energy and my life transforms. I've heard that so many times, but I'll go out in my little town here. I'll go on a date and I'll forget that. I'll forget that. And there's still pieces inside of me that's like, oh, but now I better spread my legs, right? No, fuck that shit. No, no, <laughs> uh -uh. no. Now I've gone on a bazillion dates over the last forever and I haven't slept with everybody. That's not how I roll. But I do end up in relationship with people, right? I end up being with somebody for two to three years. <laughs> one and a half to three years. That seems to be my goal here, right? Because I did spend enough time with them that I felt like I owed them, right? So then I sleep with them and then I end up in a relationship. So it can end up in different ways. It doesn't mean that you're out like hoeing it, you guys. But I'm using that as an example because one, I'm a childhood sexual abuse survivor therapist and this is common for us and two, because we're releasing it, right? We're releasing it. So claim your value, put on your crown, you guys, kings and queens, put on your crowns, Let's put them on. Put on your crown, own it, own your energy, and own the gifts that you give and give for free. Feel that energy of you giving your gifts for free and or asking for that contract. Asking for that contract. If there's a contract, right? I want to be in relationship with you. If there's a contract, I'm, you know, thank you, Jack. I'm being hired for a certain service, right? If there's a contract. I'm going to take you out to dinner. And once we get back from dinner, we're going to make out. If there's a contract and you're in a contract, ask for that. So the person can say mm, no or, oh yeah, totally. Right? Ah, uh, thank you, Depso. Thank you for seeing that and receiving it. So feel that energy releasing those thoughts, claiming your value, claim your worth, anchor in your worth. See the golden light coming through you and just ask for new thoughts, thoughts of seeing your worth and standing in the boundary of a contract. Just 
got it. There's some, a little bit of tension like right in the amygdala, so we're gonna just massage that. You might feel some ears popping. Back of your head. This is the trauma brain. And this one is primarily on your left side. Might be even, did somebody have a tumor there? I feel like you can never pay them enough. You can never owe them enough. Did somebody make you feel like you owed them so much, so much, so much? Yeah, Nikki, perfect. Receive that. So they make you feel like they like you owe them so much you could never pay. This is that martyrism shit. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Maybe you feel like, you know, there's two sides of this coin, right? And we're scared to live on one or the other. But there's one side where I owe the world everything and I can't do anything for myself. Um, poor pitiful me. And then on the flip side of that is the world owes me everything because I've been through so much and I'm, it's painful and, and I can't do anything for myself. And right. So either place is like a no. So dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, transcend that. And let's find that middle ground. We're going for the balance. Balance in the middle of your head, balance in your thoughts. So what you choose to give, you can consciously give, like I'm giving this to you, consciously giving this value, right? Every morning, this is a gift. Now, do I have feelings around it? Yes. One, I want you to learn so you can release the trauma. And two, I want to be introduced to and build trust with whoever's supposed to work with me so I can go deeper with you, right? And this is a trust building exercise for me and you, if you choose to be drawn to me and work with me in a private level, right? And that's a contractual level. So there's a building of that. So feel where you are, ask for your boundaries. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute and transcend that. Feel that release in your lumbar, in your neck, in your head, still on this right side. I feel this a lot though. This might be partially mine too. We're just going to remove that. That you owe the world or the world owes you. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. That you owe the world or the world owes you. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. That you owe the world or the world owes you. Either or, either side of that coin. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. That you owe the world or the world owes you. Let's choose where. You want to pay the world. What do you want to invest in? Who do you want to invest in? Right? Who do you want to invest in you? Right? I'm going to attract people that are generous and giving that don't hold tit for tat, right? If somebody's adding up a tally of how much you owe them, what kind of relationship is that? Right? Let that go. If you do that for people, that means you're just giving to get. So let that go. Ask God, source, universe to just come in and clear any of that. Asking the angels to clear any of that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Removing any weight of the world up the shoulders. And I'm just going to ask God, source, energy, um, the angels to come down and just bless anybody with tenfold what I owe them, tenfold of what I owe them or, or what they think I owe them, bless them completely, cut those ties with them, ask for universe to pay. You did not sign those contracts. You did not do that. So bless, bless them in their own way, bless their lives. I'm going to send blessings their way and cut, 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 cut that off. And anybody who I've made feel owe me for anything, claim this for yourself. I call back my energy and call in that tenfold blessing from the world, from the universe. I receive those gifts, right? And any lack mentality, right? Frontal lobe lack mentality, 
that you owe or they owe or there's never enough or not enough. It doesn't matter how much money I listened to um, Renee yesterday, Re Renee Garcia of Transurfing. She did this interview and I was listening to it as I was taking my nourishing bath. And um, as she was saying that the more money she made, the more her lack mentality came up, the more she spent, the more she like, Right, all of this stuff, it didn't heal her like she thought it would. So let's just release lack mentality. Somebody owes me mentality, the world owes me mentality, I can't do anything mentality. If I receive from anybody, then I owe them mentality, all of that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, transcend. And call in plenty, enough, savings, loving, kindness, those right contracts, right? I want to work with people that are like, fuck yeah, I can't wait to sign this contract. I can't wait to give myself this gift all year. I cannot wait for your support this year, right? And you want to do the same thing with people that you work for, or your employers, right? You want to be like, they, you want to work for people that are like, hell yeah, I want to sign this paycheck, right? My clients sign my paychecks all year. You guys sign them. Right? So send, I want people sending me that that money with a thank you, Lisha. Heck yeah, like I don't want to work with people that are like, oh, 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 just like right? I'm like, no, you don't want that that money coming to you that way. So <sighs> feel that blessing, give that blessing. When you're paying your electric bill, be like, yeah, I get electricity. Yeah, I get food, right? I go to the, the grocery store and I'm like, yeah, I have $200 to pay for this grocery bill. Yes, right? Like, I am so happy and grateful that I have money to pay for my groceries. I'm so happy and grateful that I have money for this cell phone. I'm so happy and grateful, right, that that my this company provides me with internet so I can play my music, right? What can you be happy and grateful for today? Releasing all that. All right, and that moves us into our emotional bodies. So, emotionality. Take a nice deep breath, releasing your thoughts, letting any thoughts go that no longer serve you, any beliefs go that no longer serves you. And feel your emotions. It's your emotional body. Your emotional body. Hmm, where are you emotionally today? It's okay wherever you are. So let's feel those heavier, denser emotions. We're just gonna help digest them a little bit. I'm just gonna massage your guts. Love your guts, love your guts. Breathe into your guts, letting things go. So when we let people go, we walk through our grief, right? Maybe you wanted to save somebody and you couldn't. God's source, their souls decided they were out of that body anyway. They were dealing with your that stuff anyway. Feel that fourth dimension of your emotional body. <sighs> Opening up your tailbone, releasing any emotions that no longer serve you. So any place where you feel like you owe somebody, let's of course release that any shame or guilt around owing somebody any place where you feel like somebody owes you maybe they left too soon they abandoned you i've gone through so much abandonment this week oh my gosh and a girlfriend abandoned me i hate losing girlfriends i don't trust very easily <laughs> girlfriends they usually need therapy <laughs> and they just don't want to hire me <laughs> So when I lose one, when I invest in one and trust them and enter in my life and then they betray me and hurt me, I'm like, ah, right? It's hard. So if that's happened to you this week, let's go. Whew. Releasing that, owning that, claiming that. If you've lost people this week, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, transcend that. If you lost people that you felt owed you or you owe them, dissolve, resolve, or if you felt like you couldn't do enough and you took responsibility for them, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, transcend that. If you had intertwined um, emotions, not this week, but yes, yeah, so anytime, anytime, 
not only this week, but all weeks. Thank you for opening that up. I choose to be. So dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Julie, welcome. Yeah, releasing that stress and anxiety. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. So your emotions are vibrations. They're going to be frequencies, you guys. You can put on high-frequency music to release that. Feel that. I got more dick pics the last month than I've ever had in my entire life. Just gross. And so if you're part of... And, and not solicited, right? So this emotional bypassing, this like stepping over your emotional boundaries, not having emotional boundaries, not being respected, um, having your gifts not received. Have you ever given somebody something and they're like, oh, whatever, like they're like, no, they don't receive it. That hurts too, right? Have you ever done something for somebody and and they just didn't receive it? Right? That means that you did it with an intention. You wanted something back, right? So let's release that wanting something back. Unless there's a contract, a written, spoken agreement, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that, releasing the guts, releasing that digestion. Releasing that. Set boundaries, let's set intentions, right? So if you want something from somebody, make sure that they're the ones that can give it to you. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Something that happened to me a lot this year is people come in and they're like, oh, I'm gonna help you with your marketing. I'm gonna help you with your website. I'm gonna help you with the book. I'm gonna help you with this. I'm gonna help you with that. And in trade, right? <coughs> or for something. And then they drop me. And it's because I didn't really want that. I wasn't asking for that. God wasn't telling me that that was something I needed, right? So I was doing something for them, receiving something that they were able to offer supposedly, but they weren't able to offer it. They didn't really mean it. So don't settle. Nobody owes anybody anything. Nobody owes you anything, no matter how much you've been through. Nobody owes you anything. And no matter how much you've given, nobody owes you anything, unfortunately, either. But you can set a contract. You can set boundaries. And most importantly, you don't owe anybody anything. So ask that God source to come down, anchor, anchor, anchor into your guts, into your belly, releasing that all the way down through your tailbone, releasing anchor into mama earth and claim what you're here to give. Claim your gifts, claim your value and increase your value. Lift it up. Receive that vibration. Ah, thank you. Receive that vibration. All the way up. Receive that vibration into you. Claiming all that you give. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Claiming all that you give as gifts. Knowing that once you give, you're just going to, whoever receives it, receives it. Your gifts back can come. Your value can come in multiple income streams, multiple streams of energy, time, space. Receive each other's gifts. See all that you're receiving. Now, what can you be grateful for? Let's connect in with that feeling of gratitude. Now, even if you're feeling some heartbreak, let's pull that heartbreak out a little bit. Affirming it, giving those blessings to God. Give the love that you had for those that you've lost to God. Their journeys to God. Right? I feel so misunderstood in so much of my life. Like, 
truly misunderstood. Like, I wish that people I dated knew me at all, but they are so, like, not. They can't even fathom what I do online every day. <laughs> right? So, if you feel like you're living kind of like this, this split, right? Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. What would it take for you to be in alignment and attuned with your emotional reality to know your value and your, your worth and to give freely from your pot overflowing? And unless you agreed to give back to somebody giving, unless that's a contract, right? You don't owe anybody anything. Releasing, dissolving, resolving, and transforming anybody's guilt or shame that they put on you that you owe them something. Whether it was your mother or your father for bringing you into this world. A boss. Right, Jack? <laughs> Uh, boss, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Maybe it's your partner, people that you're dating. I know not everybody's dating. That's just me. But dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Feel that opening. Now hold your heart. Go ahead and just place your hand on your heart. Hold your heart. You can rub your hands together. Take a little bit of love there. Feel that energy and then just bring the energy into your heart. Say, I know my heart is hurting. I wasn't done with them or my energy there. They misunderstood me. I feel like I owe them something or they owe me something. I feel like I did something wrong. Forgive yourself. Call back your energy so you're no longer taking space up in, in somebody else's home or somebody else's energy, but instead you can claim your own, right? And then claim that love that you have for them and just send them that love. Send them their love. Send them that overflow. So oftentimes we hold on to grief. We hold on to this because we don't want to lose the feeling, but it's their feeling. So go ahead and just take that feeling out and offer it to God's source. Offer it to mom, dad, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, friend that you've lost. Offer that grief up. Like this is your energy to because I love you. This is my love that I have for you that I'm giving back to you. Give that love back to them instead of holding on to it. You'll be able to cultivate it again. It is your love. So let it go. Let it flow. Let it go. Let it flow. Whew. There. Yes. Let that energy expand out from you a little bit so your body doesn't have to do so much of it. Let it go from your thoughts. Claiming that love, those good memories. Releasing any pain that was not reconciled. Releasing, 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 releasing. Whew. Beautiful. Thanks, you guys, for the follows. Welcome to the community. All right. So your emotional body feels better. Let's stretch it out. Remember, your emotional body is in your connective tissue. Reiki is really good for this. But also, um, rolfing. Massage therapy, yoga is in all of my programs, right? Just oh, stretch this out. Whew. Feel your feels and let it go. Connect to that gratitude. You don't owe anybody anything and nobody owes you anything. Because we're all one anyway. Yeah, rolfing is amazing. I wish that I lived closer to a rolfing, like a really good rolfer. I haven't met one that shifted me like the Rolf Institute in Boulder when I was in my 20s. All right. Last realm where trauma lives is your magnetic field. So go ahead and first just stretch up. 
about arms distance out, you wanna fill your bubble. Now, if your bubble's not there, call it back into you or push it out from you. You wanna create your bubble, nice and space. Give yourself some space. Proclaim some more space. Now, if people have told you that you owe them, so you don't wanna be seen, you're like, oh, right? And you don't know how to receive, open that up. Because when you give to somebody, doesn't it feel amazing when somebody receives your gifts and they're not like, oh, I owe you something or, oh, I have to like balance this out, but they're just like, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I feel you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. This present is so cool. Or, oh my goodness, your time means so much to me. Right? That's what it's all about for the giver. So take that give and give, give, give to yourself. Receive those things that were authentically given to you. Release that old pattern of I owe you if you give to me, that old shame and guilt. Release it, release it, release it, and release anybody that still holds ties to you that says that you owe them something. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend all that that is. All right. So we are gonna clear this teacher energy. So this teacher energy, when it's in the negative, okay? When you're in your shadow or what we perceive as not the positive, the evil part of it, is manipulating or abusing students. So any place where either you have done this to students or you've done this, had this done to you, see it, feel it, pull it up in your electromagnetic field, and we're gonna release this energy. So we're gonna validate it and release it. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend it. No longer in the eclipse. That's perfect to fall asleep, love. So dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend all that that is. Teaching negative traits and destructive skills. Now, sometimes people teach us things that might be negative for us and destructive for us, but they were positive for them, right? So dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. So you have your own discernment. Have your own discernment. Call back in that part of you that can discern what you're learning, that questions everything, that does your own research. <laughs> nice, Tasha. <laughs> right? So that's what we don't want to do, knowingly or unknowingly to our students as teachers. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Now, the light attribute is the ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, and wisdom. Call in your ability to communicate knowledge. Communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. Communicate knowledge, skill, experience, or wisdom. That means that you gotta admit that you have knowledge, that you have skills, that you have wisdom. That was the hard part for me. I mean, I had to get my doctorate and I still question my value. Right? Because no matter how much I studied, no matter how much I did, like it was a poverty issue. It's a value issue. It wasn't a knowledge issue. All right, so if you, like me, have been proving, striving, earning, right? Maybe you have tons of money. Maybe you have tons of degrees. Maybe you have tons of skills. And yet, you have yet to admit it to yourself that you are valuable. Let's call that in. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend any place that makes you feel like you have to prove yourself, you have to prove your value, you have to earn it, that somebody else is in charge of it. No. Claim your knowledge. Claim your experience. Claim your skill. Claim your wisdom. Fill your breath. So clearing this from your bubble. If there's any rips or tears in your bubble, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. So Lolly, we're doing some Reiki. Trauma therapy. Releasing any of that from your electromagnetic field and claiming your skill, claiming your value. Okay, let's clear the energy of the rescuer. So sometimes somebody comes in to try to rescue us and and we attach to them, right? Um, and the sometimes we go in to rescue somebody assuming that they're gonna re reciprocate. And sometimes those that rescue us keep us needy, like the um, medical establishment keeping you on drugs. Oh, I love that one. That's my favorite. So the hanging lights, I really want them around my house. So, um, 
the medical field keeping you rescued, the therapist keeping you in therapy forever, um, the school system keeping you in school forever, right? Um, keeps the rescued one needy, the, the welfare system keeping you on welfare forever. All that that is, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. So with self-pity, right? You have to stay pitiful and stay needy in order to be loved. This was huge for me. I've been releasing it all week, right? It was kind of like an agreement I had with my mom. I had to stay sick and needy in order to be loved. I've had it with men too. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Any beliefs that you have to stay sick and needy, you have to be in need of rescue in order to be loved, in order to be taken care of, in order to be um, all of that. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. <coughs> Beautiful. Now, that means that you get to... Open up your tailbone, release that. And we get to learn how to not be needy. It takes a lot of courage. When I decided I wasn't going to need cancer and stuff anymore, like this is funny because my body kept producing that, right? That old pattern kept producing it. But I got my uterus out before we even knew I had cancer. I got the stuff on my back before anything was even a big deal. Like nothing's been a big deal, right? So if you have a pattern, you can release it without the drama, the trauma. You can release it without that right? If you have to stay broke in order to be loved, if you have to stay broke in order for this or that, broken, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. If you're raised in chaos, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that, right? So that's one relationship with the rescuer. Now, the light attributes of the rescuer call into your system, provide strength and support to others in crisis, <sighs> acts out of love with no expectation of reward, no expectation of reward, just, just to be loving, just to be kind, right? Just from your overflow. Don't give from where you are needy. Don't give from your empty pot. Like give from where you're overflow. Notice where you're overflowing. Do you have enough time right now? Right? When I was jobless, I had plenty of time. So I gave my time. Um, when I have more money, I give more money. When I have more um, wisdom, I give wisdom, right? So where is your cup overflowing? There's so many ways that you can generously give. Where is it overflowing? And where can you give with no expectation of return? Beautiful. And where have you given with that? All right, so we have the Samaritan energy. The Samaritan energy, exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. It is important. If somebody helps you, give them that recognition, right? That is the gift. That is that acclamation of, yes, you're receiving it. Yes, right? If you go and you get food, like say thank you. If somebody puts you up in a hotel, say thank you. If somebody heals you, say thank you. And however it is, right? Say thank you. But if you're giving in order for the thank you, that's where we mistake, right? That's where, that's where there's strings attached. Untie any strings, untie any strings, seen or unseen, this lifetime or many lifetimes that have ever been attached to any giving that you've ever done or anything that you've ever received from other people that put strings attached, any strings attached. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. I'm feeling it in my butt. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. So any strings attached that somebody wanted something back, I just asked for the highest good of all that God, you just provide that back to them. Now in this lifetime, through all lifetimes, all generations, all past generations, all genetic lines, mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, healers, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. Any of that. Whew. Now, any strings attached for anything that I've given, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. I cut all strings. I call back my energy. Call back your energy. Call it back so you can receive what you need. Call back your energy. So you're not waiting around for them to give, give, give back to you. I receive it from any place, anything from the highest good of all. I receive that energy back for the highest good of all. However that is. You're welcome, Lolly. Calling that back, feeling that support 
through your hips, through your lower back. Feel that support in your lower back. Supporting yourself, supporting others, and receiving the support for others. Whew. Yes. Now, the positive attribute of the Samaritan is refine your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Giving you, oh, look at that. Giving you that love to be able to help people. Okay. So this, I really needed this morning. It didn't matter. Like I kept trying to set boundaries to write my journal and everything. If you wrote me this morning, you know, I was like, I'm writing in my journal. It's the new moon. Like I have to get clear. I've been very unclear of who I want to be, how I want to be, what this next part of my life is going to look like. I'm feeling the pressure to, to design it because old shit's happening and I don't like it. I'm not buying into it anymore. I'm, I'm done with that reality. And yet I haven't gotten clear on what this new reality is for me, right? So today I was trying to write it, trying to write it, and oh, right? Finally, the head honcho, my daughter, texted me, right? First it was clients, and then it was, then it was, well, first it was Bentley, and then it was clients, and I set really good boundaries with y'all. I love you guys for your patience. And then my daughter <laughs> was like, my throat hurts. <laughs> I was like, okay, fuck it. <laughs> and then it was time to come on here, right? So if there's resistance there, laugh at that resistance. <sighs> Reclaiming this piece for yourself. You're worthy of your time. You are worthy of your time. Hero and the heroine. Let's release this last one for today. Escapism and false sense of heroism, right? Now, when we go out and we try to save people for the recognition of saving people, that's a false sense of heroism. I am queen of that, okay? So this is not judgment. This is like, let's not do this anymore, right? Give where you can give. Just give where you can give and don't give when you can't. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. Feel that clearing from your energy. Now, if somebody is, they're like, I'm going to save you. I brought you into this world. I'm going to take you out of this world, right? I'm going to save you. I'm going to take you to dinner and now you owe me something, right? Or for me, I feel like this is a lot of men right now. And these like random dick pics. I mean, I just want to like put out into the world. And I don't know about you guys either, but it's like, if I want to fuck you, believe me, you will know. I want to take a poll of all the people that I fucked. I'm like, when I wanted to fuck you, like you knew, right? I will beg. I'm a beggar, you know? So for fuck, don't send me dick pics. <laughs> so if you're receiving things, right? That were unsolicited to you. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. That's a sense of escapism, right? When people are like, like pushing onto you things, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend people escaping through sex, escaping through drugs, escaping through al alcohol. Um, ain't too proud to beg, right? Like if I want it, believe me, I, you will know if you are the chosen one, you will know, right? I don't know if Chad's still on here, but I've hit on Chad. <laughs> he knew I was hitting on him. I make it very clear. <clears throat> but these people I was not hitting on. Okay, so the light attribute is passion for a journey of personal empowerment. How can you claim your passion for your journey of personal empowerment? How can you claim your passion for your journey of personal empowerment? Claim it. See that light coming into you. Ask God's source to just come into you. Claim your passion for your journey of personal empowerment. Fill your shoulders. Open up. Fill your body. Open up. Let's design your electromagnetic field. Design your electromagnetic field. Design it. What do you want in your field today? Claim it and own it. Who do you want to be? Claim it and own it. Fill up your cup. Ask God's source to fill up your cup, right? With whatever you need, whatever you need, right? With the money, with the time, with the love, with the joy, 
with the healing, with the time to heal. So often, right, we're like, oh, I'm jobless, I'm homeless, and all I want to do is heal, but we won't sit around and heal. We just sit around and stress. Claim this healing today. Claim your time if you have extra time. Claim your mind if you have a brain to think. Claim your emotions if you can do things to create better emotions. Do so. Get out of the drama and the trauma. Do things to celebrate the people that you've lost, right? If you're going through grief, do things to celebrate them or get pissed off. It's okay, right? You don't owe them shit. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend them. All right. Last but not least, we're clearing this vampire energy. I felt it. All right. So if anybody is in there stealing your energy or you want to steal other people's energy. So many empaths, we unknowingly are vampires because we take responsibility for other people's shit. Okay. We can be the biggest vampires with loving hearts. We think we're helping them out, but we are not. We're actually keeping them stuck because we're trying to take responsibility for shit that they need to heal themselves. So depleting others of for your psychic survival, to feel good about yourself, to feel needy, right? To feel needed, to feel like you're healing somebody, right? Um, depleting others for your psychic survival. It can look like love, but it's not. Chronic co complaining or codependency. If you are chronically complaining, listen to yourself, listen to your brain. If you're chronically complaining, start checking yourself, right? Only you can heal yourself. Start checking yourself. If your codependency is so much, you've never lived that. Okay. Um, go ahead and start learning different things that you need to do. So you're no longer sucking energy out of people. So you're no longer healing for other people. So you're no longer trying to be the hero or the heroine saving everybody. Dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. And call in what makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force call in that awareness of where your energy ends and other people's begin. What wakes me a great clairvoyant, clear psych, clear medium and clear is I know where I, who I am and what I am and where I begin and where I don't. I know when I'm feeling somebody else's shit and when I'm not most of the time, especially in sessions. Now it gets a little harder out in the world and it gets really hard when I'm in relationship with that person but I'm getting better okay so any place that you do this dissolve resolve transform transmute and transcend that whenever you're ready releasing the energy letting things go plug that drain at the base of your tailbone and fill up on you what do you want your life to look like call in your new Call in your ability to see everything. Call in your ability to save yourself, to rescue yourself, to receive yourself, to receive your blessings. Give yourself a nice big hug. Oh. And the other way, big hug. Oh. See how brilliant everybody else around you, able to save themselves, love themselves. Oh, receive your gifts that you can give and help people with, Whew, whether it's waiting tables or, or helping in an office or doing healing work. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Mwah. Fill up on you. And whenever you're ready, let me know. I only have a few seconds because we ran over to get today. Have a beautiful day, Pam. I love you. Shanice, welcome back, sweetie. How are you? Jack, thank you so much. So much. Thank you. You like it? And I got a new little tanky top. Freaking love it. Colleen, welcome. So if this is beneficial for you, if you appreciate this, please subscribe to my channel. We have three more people away from our goal for this week. Amazing. Thank you, Nikki. Love you. Alchemist Coached, welcome. Beautiful. Ha, Chad was here. <laughs> Love you guys. Oh, beautiful. You rock too. Shanice, welcome. Thank you guys. 
So if you, you're going to subscribe tomorrow, yes. So if you guys would like to schedule a healing session with me, I am now offering one-off healing sessions. You can do that in my bio. We have the Amazing You um, course coming up that, that is all around emotion. So emotional intelligence, emotional trauma, healing your emotional body so you can get out of that reactivity zone and more in control of your emotions. That class is going to begin um, if people register um, in the beginning of November. So register this week. Um, and then we have um, the Amazing You journey. I am taking applications for that and coaches, new coaches in training and yoga teachers in training. And all of those you begin with making a consultation with me. So, um, well, of course you'll speak to me soon. You always speak to me. <laughs> so you guys go ahead and if you can raise your hands up in the air, if this is comfortable with you, stand for a minute in this power stance. Say, yes, I have won. 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 Yes, I'm always on Monday through Friday. And then I do weekend things for the subscribers. <laughs> 